In this video, I'd like to take a few moments to show you how to modify your headers and footers in your output in SPSS for printing. So if you're in your output window, as you see that I am here, I have some basic analyses in my output here, and I want to print these up. Now if I go to File, and then Page Attributes, and then notice here we have a header and a footer, and in the footer here it says Page and Page, and I'll tell you more about that in a moment, but this basically prints the page number. And then let's say I wanted to add a header here. I can just go into the header box, and I can have a little fun with it. Type something like Amazing Data, and then let's say uh, January Results. Okay, and then go ahead and click OK. And then when I go to File, Print Preview, notice here, there's my header. And then down here, you can see the footer where it says Page 1. And if there's more pages of results, then that will just go ahead and be page 2, page 3, and so on. But we only have one page of results here, so we'll only see page 1. Okay, I'll go ahead and close that. And then if I go back to Page Attributes once again, notice this here. This field here, the ampersand or and sign, and then page in these brackets, that tells SPSS to put the page number of each page. So this is where we get the 1 from this command right here. And that will come out if I go ahead and click on this pound sign. That produces this statement, which by default SPSS already has on each page of output. This here is shown in words. Notice it doesn't have an ampersand or brackets. So I could say, this is a little bit overkill, but just to make the point here, I could put page number and then have this command here. Let's go ahead and take a look at that. So if I go to File and then Print Preview, we see our header there still. And then notice here, now I have page number one. So once again, this part is what I put in words, and this is that field that tells SPSS to put the page number and to continue to append the page number as we have more and more pages. So two for page two, three for page three, and so on. But I'll go ahead and go back to Page Attributes and take that number out, remove that, and then there we go. So that's how you modify headers and footers in SPSS output. Now, again, this only works if you're in the output window. If you're in the data editor window, notice that that command is not there. So when you're doing this, make sure you are in the output. Okay, that's it. Thanks for watching.